One hour later, on a mountain located at level 50 of the Fear Trial, a big explosion occurred. This explosion had been created by Hong Wu. He was quite tired and his clothes were torn as he had been fighting non-stop against the monsters for several hours. After defeating the last monster, a system window appeared to notify him that level 50 had been cleared. While he was catching his breath, he began to wipe his chin with his hand and thought that this year had been unlucky since the exam this year was very difficult. Against the type of monsters that Hong Wu was fighting, they usually appeared at level 70. He adopted an offensive stance and with a determined smile, he decided to obtain first place in the great exam of the southern province. After thinking this, he tightly clenched his fists, started looking towards the sky and began shouting. He asked the director if he was watching him, and requested to contact the responsible individuals from the top 10 educational institutions and prepare for his admission. At the same time, in the surveillance room where Director Bai and the director of number one middle school were observing the students, they heard Hong Wu but didn't pay him any attention as they were busy watching Lu Fan's dragon. While Director Bai was stroking his beard with his hand and looking at Lu Fan through the television, he explained to him that level 50 of the Celestial Tower was the most difficult since all the students who had ranked first in previous year exams had struggled to clear this level. The director of number one middle school crossed his arms, turned his head towards the television and explained to him that this level was decisive, since if even Lu Fan cleared this level, his speed of ascending in the Celestial Tower afterwards would not be very fast. At the same time, Lu Fan reached level 50 of the Nightmare Trial which was a snowy mountain. While he and Xiaoya were walking in the area, a system window appeared to inform him that Xiaoya had obtained a new ability called Transformation. Upon seeing the system window, he quickly realized that this was the new ability Xiaoya had obtained after leveling up. Without hesitation, Lu Fan touched the system window, causing Xiaoya's skill status window to appear. She had four transformations, the original being the giant dragon. The first transformation was called Young Dragon, in which all her attributes and energy consumption were reduced by 50%. The second transformation was called Dragon Woman. She could only activate this form by signing a contract with a dragon tamer. The third transformation was called Destruction Dragon. Xiaoya's strength decreased by 50%, and her spirit increased by 100%, granting her new abilities called Burn Everything and Lava Explosion. The fourth transformation was called World Destroyer. Her stamina decreased by 50%, and her strength increased by 100%, giving her new abilities called Tear the Earth Apart and Roar of Terror. While Lu Fan was checking Xiaoya's status window, the ground started shaking. Upon seeing this, he was somewhat surprised and began to wonder what was happening. Xiaoya turned her head to the side and realized that something bad was about to happen. At that moment, the rocks that were near them began to fly and come together until several seconds later, a monster made of rocks appeared. Although Xiaoya was giant, this monster was even bigger than her. This monster was called Purple-Eyed Mountain Giant and it was level 20, it had several unique abilities. The first ability was called the Fist of the Mountains, which allowed it to swing its rock arm to sweep all targets in front of it, causing a great amount of damage. The second ability was called Mountain Earthquake. This ability allowed the monster to gather momentum and make a big jump, repeatedly hitting the ground, causing a great amount of damage accompanied by five earthquakes. The third and final ability was called Purple Stone. The monster could create a magical barrier that reduced the damage received by 50%, making it immune to armor penetration effects. Upon seeing the Nightmare Trial monster, Director Bai was shocked and began to wonder how Lu Fan would face it. The director of number one middle school simply sighed and reminded him once again that level 50 was going to be decisive as it would slow down the speed at which Lu Fan was ascending the celestial tower. He turned his head towards the leaderboard and was shocked to see that Lu Fan was in first place with 3.2 million points. With this score, the number one position in the city of Zhanghai was already secured for Lu Fan. The director knew that it was very likely that he would also end up being the number one in the entire southern province. He didn't know how it was possible that a student with so much potential wasn't from the first middle school. At the same time, on the level 50 of the nightmare trial, the monster began to stare at Lu Fan and roar. While he was checking the monster's status window, it activated the skill called Mountain Fist, which allowed it to swing its rocky arm to sweep all targets in front of it, causing a great amount of damage. Lu Fan thought about the damage reduction effect. Now that he had reached the halfway point of the Celestial Tower in the trial, the difficulty had increased compared to before. The monster began to quickly bring its fist closer to Lu Fan, with the intention of attacking. 
While little by little the fist of the monster was getting closer, Lu Fan simply started to smile. Just before the monster's fist could reach and impact Lu Fan, Xiaoya appeared and hit the monster's fist with her own fist, blocking the attack in the process. Lu Fan simply put his hands in his pockets and, upon seeing that things had reached this point, he called Xiaoya's attention and gave her the order to transform into the form of World Destroyer. Upon hearing the order, she began to roar to indicate that she understood. At that moment, a red energy appeared around her body and she grew enormous. Gaining momentum, she began to fly, forcefully pushing the monster backwards. Seeing this, Director Bai was surprised and started wondering what Lu Fan had planned to do. Little by little, Xiaoya began to transform. A powerful black armor appeared around her claw along with a pink flame. Then her wings transformed into flames. Several seconds later, she completely changed shape. Now her body was covered in black armor. She started flying and as she approached the monster, she began to roar. A system window appeared to inform Lu Fan that the transformation had been completed. Now she was in the form of the black dragon called World Destroyer. Her strength had increased from 1,456 points to 2,912, while her spirit had decreased from 1,424 points to 712. Agility and stamina remained the same. Now that she had transformed, she unlocked two new abilities called Earth Break and Roar of the Apocalypse. Upon seeing that Lu Fan's dragon could transform and become even more efficient in combat, Director Bai, Shanghai and the director of the first middle school were shocked. While Shanghai was looking at Lu Fan with a surprised look, he started sweating and told them that transformations like this gave him goosebumps. While Lu Fan was distracted, the monster tried to attack him from behind using its fist, but luckily, he noticed the attack and with a burst of momentum, he jumped, dodging the attack in the process. This caused the monster's fist to hit the ground and shatter into pieces. Upon seeing that Lu Fan had evaded the attack, the monster began staring at him with a murderous gaze. Lu Fan used the skill called Dragon's Inspiration, which inspired himself and the Dragon Pet, increasing all attributes and attack power by 30%. While Lu Fan's eye was emitting a powerful flame, he turned his head towards the monster and with a smile called Xiaoya. Thanks to Lu Fan using the Dragon's Inspiration ability, her strength increased from 2,912 points to 3,785. Her spirit increased from 712 points to 925. Her agility increased from 1,104 points to 1,435. And her stamina increased from 1,503 points to 1,953. While Lu Fan's hand was emitting a powerful flame, he extended his hand towards the monster and ordered Xiaoya to use the giant jaw attack which allowed her to increase her speed and take a bite at the target, inflicting continuous bleeding damage. In the blink of an eye, Xiaoya appeared and took a strong bite out of the rock monster, breaking its body into pieces. Upon seeing this, the director of the first middle school was shocked and began to wonder if a level 20 boss had really been defeated with just one bite. Director Bai turned his head towards the television and with a serious look, he realized that if Lu Fan was able to break the defense of the Purple Eye Giant from the mountains, surely Xiaoya's attack power exceeded 2,000 points. While Lu Fan was in the air, the monster reassembled its body and tried to catch him using its hand. Luckily, he reacted in time and by moving his body to the side, he dodged the attack. While still in mid-air, he turned his body towards the monster, and while staring at it intently, he used Xiaoya's power causing a black armor to appear around his hand. His hand transformed into a claw. He launched a powerful attack towards the monster, destroying it into pieces and creating a big explosion in the process. The ability that Lu Fan had used was called Dragon's Claw, which transformed the user's arm into a dragon claw. Its power depended on the black dragon. Upon seeing Lu Fan's ability, Kang Shang was amazed. Shanghai turned his head towards him and asked if he now realized why he had prevented him from taking Lu Fan. While Lu Fan was in the air, another monster appeared and started approaching him quickly. He simply turned his head towards it, extended his hand to the side, and activated the Dragon Claw again. While Xiaoyu was fighting against another monster, she noticed that Lu Fan was in danger. She lifted her head and, while looking at the monster, let out a powerful roar, causing its body to be thrown backwards. She had used the Roar of the Apocalypse. This ability allowed her to emit a loud roar towards the target, inflicting a great amount of damage to all targets within range and applying the vulnerability effect. Lu Fan turned his head slightly towards the monster and with a determined smile, he decided it was time to deliver the final blow. 
At that moment, Sayoya appeared behind him and began staring at the monster with a murderous look, leaving Lu Fan surprised. Lu Fan used the ability called the Earth Breaks. This ability allowed Xiaoya to forcefully strike the ground, causing great damage to all targets reached by the shockwave, creating abyssal cracks in the process. The enemy targets had a chance of falling into the created abyssal cracks. She spread her wings to the sides and forcefully struck the ground, breaking it into pieces and creating an abyssal crack. The Nightmare Trial boss fell into the crack, where it would be unable to escape from. Now that they had defeated the boss, her level increased to 12 and Lu Fan's level increased to 17. Now that both had leveled up, Lu Fan thought choosing the Nightmare Trial had been the right choice. He turned his head to one side and with a smile, he thought that not only did he have no obstacles in terms of difficulty, but every time he advanced to the next level, he leveled up and his experience improved greatly. Now that Lu Fan had successfully cleared level 50, a portal appeared. Without thinking twice, Lu Fan and Xiaoyu began to move towards the portal. At the same time, in the surveillance room, Shanghai put out his cigarette, then turned his head slightly towards the director of the first middle school, and told him that the so-called decisive level 50 posed no problem for Lu Fan. He simply crossed his arms, closed his eyes and replied that Lu Fan's powerful dragon was simply far beyond his understanding. Upon hearing this, Director Bai turned his head towards Kang Shang, as he had extensive knowledge about dragons. The director asked him if he could perceive how strong Lu Fan's dragon had become after changing form. Kang Shang placed his hand under his chin and explained that he had witnessed some important individuals fighting in the dragon realm. Comparing the strength of Lu Fan's dragon with those dragons, he revealed to everyone that Lu Fan's dragon had a strength of at least 2,500 points. Upon hearing this, the principal of the first middle school was shocked. He began to stare at Kang Shang and told the others that 250 points were too much. He asked if their level and attributes were not worthy of mention. Principal Bai simply listened in silence, then raised his head and while staring at Lu Fan through the screen, he thought he was right. He was afraid that Lu Fan's attributes would continue to increase instead of decrease. While the director of the first middle school stood with crossed arms, he closed his eyes and told the others that since Lu Fan had reached level 50, the pattern of X plus 1 would also become increasingly evident. Upon hearing this, Shanghai turned his head back and asked what the X plus 1 pattern was. While director Bai was watching the television, he told the others that there was no doubt since the X plus 1 pattern had been designed by scholars as an initial test for the Celestial Tower. He explained to everyone that after students pass floor 50, every time they pass through X levels with a large number of normal monsters, they would encounter a higher level boss. What made the test more similar to a real dungeon? where one was constantly in danger of losing their life. With a serious look, he revealed to everyone that in the nightmare trial of the Celestial Tower, this was different because all the monsters were going to be replaced by a nightmare difficulty boss. This is the end of the video. If you guys want to see the next part, then don't forget to subscribe and like the video.